Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is SAP ABAP new syntax or we can say ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5. Now what are these new syntax or what is this ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5? This 7.4 and 7.5 are the ABAP versions. They are the ABAP versions. Now, when SAP released the ABAP version 7.4, when SAP come up with the ABAP version 7.4, at that time, SAP introduced a new approach to ABAP programming. Before that, new approach was not there. When SAP released the ABAP version 7.4, at that time, SAP introduced a new approach to ABAP programming. Now, in this new approach, SAP introduced lots of new ABAP elements. SAP introduced lots of things related to ABAP programming. SAP introduced lots of new syntaxes related to the ABAP programming. And this new approach to ABAP programming is called as SAP ABAP new syntax. So if someone asks you, what is SAP ABAP new syntax? We can simply, simply say, when SAP released the ABAP version 7.4, at that time, SAP come up with the new approach to ABAP programming. And in that new approach, SAP come up with new elements. SAP come up with lots of new syntaxes. And it is called as SAP ABAP new syntax. Now, SAP ABAP new syntax is also called as ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5. Why it is called as ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5? Because the new approach to the ABAP programming introduced from ABAP version 7.4. Now we have ABAP version 7.5 also. That's why the new syntaxes are also called as ABAP 7.4 or you can say ABAP 7.5. Now, whenever people start learning these new syntaxes, two questions are in everyone's mind. The first question is, will the old syntaxes will work? Yes, the old syntaxes will work as it is. There is no impact on the old syntaxes. SAP just added the new syntaxes, but old syntaxes will work as it is. There's no impact on the old syntaxes. Now, second question, but the question comes into maximum people. I am using a ECC system. Will the new syntaxes work? I am using a S4 HANA system. Will the new syntaxes work? They will work as it is. New syntaxes will work in ECC also. New syntaxes will work in S4 HANA system also because they are based upon ABAP version. If your system has a ABAP version 7.4 or own words, you can work in ECC, you can work in S4 HANA, no dependency at all, because these new syntaxes are based upon ABAP version. So if your system has a ABAP version 7.4 or own words, you can simply, simply work or you can try new syntaxes in ECC or S4 HANA. It will not make any difference. Now I will come on to the advantages. Yes, what are the main advantages of new syntaxes? Anyways, when we start with the practical part, you will realize this particular advantage. Whenever we will go for new syntaxes, they are more efficient and convenient way to write the code. Why I am saying they are more efficient and convenient way to write the code? 
a simple understanding. If we are saying this particular thing is efficient, efficient means what? Without giving so much effort, you are able to get the output. And this is true with the new syntaxes where we, you can write less number of code and you can get the desirable output. It means putting less efforts will give you the correct output or give the desired result. That's why we are saying new syntaxes are efficient and convenient way because we can write less number of code. Whenever we start with the practical part, you will realize, yes, because we will not go for declarations. So if you will not go for declaration, anyways, you are just reducing the number of lines of code. So new syntaxes are more convenient and efficient way to write the code because we can write less number of code and we will be able to get the desired output. Now I will come on to the disadvantage. One of the most important disadvantage, especially for the new developers, and now slowly, slowly, it is becoming a drawback, especially new developers are facing lots of difficulty. Now, but the major thing is new developers directly start with the new syntaxes and they have not seen the old syntaxes. Then now what will happen if they are getting a chance to work in implementation project? No problem. It's very, very good that they can perform because in the implementation project, you are writing the code from the scratch. Whenever you will write the code from the beginning, it is very good that you are using new syntaxes because new syntaxes are more efficient and convenient way to write the code. And ultimately, we should use new syntaxes if you are writing something from the scratch. Now, this becomes a bottleneck also when they are getting a chance to work in support or maintenance project. See, in support or maintenance project, the already developed things are there and it is not the guarantee that the old developed things are with new syntaxes. Suppose that project is running from last so many years. So we have lots of old syntaxes there and you directly start learning the new syntaxes. So it is very difficult for you to switch on to old syntaxes. See, if you know old syntaxes, it is very easy to learn the new syntaxes. Once you learn the new syntaxes, and if you are trying to understand the old syntaxes, then at that time, it will become a challenge. But it is always, always preferable that if you are developing anything from the scratch, if you are writing your code, you might go for always new syntaxes. But how you can remove this bottleneck, especially for the new developers, when you start learning a new syntax, check the old syntax also. Because anyways, you have to write the code based upon new syntaxes. If you are not comfortable with old syntaxes, yes. But it is always good that along with the new syntax, learn the old syntax also because you will face less difficulties in the support or maintenance projects. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with SAP ABAP new syntax or ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5. What is this 7.4 or 7.5? This is a BAP version. It, when SAP released the version 7.4 for the ABAP, at that time, SAP introduced the new approach to ABAP programming. Before that, the new approach was not there. In this new approach, SAP added the new syntaxes, new elements. That's why it is called as SAP ABAP new syntax. And why it is called as ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5? Because this new approach is introduced from ABAP version 7.4 onwards. That's why it is called as ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5. Now, whenever you have the new syntaxes, will old syntaxes work as it is? 
yes it will work as it is there is no impact on the old syntaxes old syntaxes will be as it is is the new syntaxes will work in ecc or s4 hana they will work in both the systems because they are dependent on the abap version if your system has a abap version 7.4 onwards these new syntaxes will always always work now what is the advantage of the new syntax these new ad this the advantage of new syntaxes is they are more efficient and convenient way to write the code as we can get the output by writing the less number of lines of code now what is the disadvantage this disadvantage is specially for the new developers if they only learn the new syntaxes so if they learn the new syntaxes only in the support projects they will face difficulty because it might be the case in support projects we have so many things with the old syntaxes so what is the solution for the same whenever you are going for new syntaxes parallelly run learn the old syntaxes also so in that case you will not face the difficulty it will not be a bottleneck for you now in the next video we will start with firstly in line declarations which are the part of sap abap new syntax so that's it in this video thank you